Hello everybody, it's Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Uh, hope everybody is off to a great start for the week. Uh, as I always wish I want everybody uh, to experience the best that life has to offer. In order to do that, you have to commit yourself to being your best and improving daily and striving toward a specified goal. The last thing you want is just throwing darts at the wall hoping you hit something special uh, you need to know what you're aiming at you need to know what you're going for you need to know how and what direction you're going to travel and then you've got to push toward toward it uh, I just want to wish you the best there are two primary things I want to talk to you about today before I do so I need to remind you that we are still in the middle of a fundraiser so the links that you see that you need to support us or if you want to support us through the organization's cash app uh, account that information is in the description box again nothing happens for free nothing happens for free hearing about you know how awesome the thing the programs are hearing about all the things that you, you think positively about me is awesome and great and i appreciate the acknowledgement but i'm more focused on getting work done uh, that cost. So that's that. Uh, first thing I want to get out of the way, uh, and, and this is because it's important for a number of different reasons. Number one, I'm on my own personal health journey. Uh, after being in the health industry all my life and letting myself completely go, I mean completely, uh, I got up to, at the time of my heart attack, and all the way up until last year, 250 plus pounds. I think uh, when I decided to make uh, a change. I was 258.6 pounds. I'm down to 222. My goal by my birthday, which is next Monday, is to be at 218. So I've got four pounds to go. Uh, and my ultimate goal is to, on my daughter's birthday, is when I made that decision uh, to get down. But I want to talk to you about uh, the information that's just been released about the cause of death for. Uh, Kevin Samuels. Now, those of you who have followed me know that uh, I am not a big fan, or was not a big fan of the way Kevin delivered a lot of his content. Uh, but that's on a philosophical and experiential and personal and cultural level. As a human being, I never take pleasure in the, some, in, in the demise of someone, in the death of someone. Uh, that takes a lot of negative energy. And I see so many people that celebrated his death when he died. I see a, a whole nother group now that it's come out making a big joke. And it, the thing is, we're all headed that way one way or another. And so what I want to actually do is I want to take this time to really, truly encourage you to take care of yourself. You got one life and you get this one body through which you get to live this life. And if you don't take care of yourself, your body will forsake you. And what it turned out to be is Kevin's cause of death was hypertension. So he had high blood pressure and he was exacerbating that by drinking Red Bull, which is probably one of the worst things you can do if you have any type of cardiovascular issues is drink Red Bull or any other type of energy drink. There are a lot of other ways to improve energy and if there's an energy deficiency then you first of all need to check nutrition you need to check a number of other things uh some things off and normally you can correct that uh but you know as i move along in my health journey and i start to you know literally realize just how far off i had gotten just things that are that that had left that are coming back and the 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 the, the, the uh vigor the energy uh, so much more uh, that just was gone because I simply wasn't taking care of myself. You know, I was so focused on the dollar. I was so focused on what I wanted to do for my family. I was so focused on what I wanted to do for my wife. I was so focused that I was literally killing myself. And I was taking myself completely out of the picture for the long haul, which in, I think and believe I'm more valuable. So what am I saying? What I had to realize is it doesn't matter how much money I make, especially when a lot of the money I'm making is real specific to me. In other words, 
It's a lot of stuff I do other people can't do. So if I leave, it's not like somebody else can come and pick it along. Maybe one of my children will get passionate about it. No, I do have two who are in the field of psychology. Uh, and maybe they'll come along and take it on or whatever, but that's not guaranteed. Uh, and their philosophy and approach may be different. They may have their own genius in how they want to develop and move. But whatever it is, it requires me. It requires, but there's so much more to my presence than the dollar. And I had to learn that there's so much more that I bring to the table than money. And I had to realize that I had to step back. I had to take time to rest. Uh, I don't work seven days a week anymore. I don't get up at four o'clock, 3 30, 4 o'clock in the morning anymore. 5, 5 30. Uh, I'm up, but, uh, and I'm not up to 11 and 12 at night anymore. 10 o'clock, lights out. I'm going to take care of myself and I'm going to encourage you that, number one, if your weight is above what you know it should be and you got an idea, I'm not talking about aesthetics. I'm not talking about how you look. I'm talking about your BM, your BMI, your body mass index, your uh, fat to lean ratio. You know, where is it at? Your body fat percentage, where is it at? Um, are you having a hard time breathing? Or do, do you labor to do the simplest of tasks? Are you struggling with, um, are you struggling with memory? Uh, having a hard time sleeping? All of these things are signs that something's not right. We need to start paying attention to them. Uh, I encourage you, seek the advice of a health uh, professional. Uh, seek the advice of a fitness expert if you want to lose weight. If you want to find resources, uh, visit uh, my site, Master Fitness 21. Uh, dot XYZ, Master Fitness 21 dot XYZ, and do, you know, do your research, do whatever, um, but find somebody, whatever it is. Your, your life is so much more important than whatever else you've got going on. You're stressing about stuff, you know, all of this stuff. Stress is a silent killer. Stress, when it is not tamed, becomes chronic stress. Stress triggers the stress response, which is also known as the fight or flight response. When stress triggers that response, it, it, it uh, the brain send a, sends a signal to the adrenal gland to release adre adrenaline and cortisol. In short bursts, it's great if you got to get out of the way of a coming car or somebody's chasing you to do harm. It's great for that. A burst of energy, a burst of strength, and a burst of energy and a burst of strength, and you get away, and then all of a sudden, uh, the adrenal levels go, uh, go down, cortisol levels go down, heart rate goes down, everything goes back to normal, breathing goes back to normal, great. But when you're having chronic stress, that means there is this worry, there's this stress, there's this threat that isn't immediate. It's not going to kill you right now, but you're worried about it. You're giving it energy and you are constantly triggering that uh, stress response that is releasing these uh, hormones that are when in your bloodstream long periods of time extremely detrimental to your health i have to stop before i get to the gym and pick up something uh but you uh what happens is uh cortisol is horrible for your immune system it's horrible for your organs you need to gain an understanding of different approaches and coping mechanisms to deal with stress a bunch of other things you can do uh there's so much to this that I can't get into it, but I just thought about this dude was 57 years old, looked healthy, but wasn't checking and taking care of himself in a way and didn't know just how dangerous those energy drinks are. You might not have hypertension. You might not even have anything that's significant cardi on a cardiovascular level, but drinking those drinks over a long period of time will create problems. That's something that you need to be aware of. Another thing I want to jump on real quickly is a lot of people have been looking at the series that I'm currently doing that's associated with the book that I'm about to release, The War on Black Wealth, uh, Chasing the American Dream. Uh, and people are talking about, well, with the threat, with, with, with such volatility in the, in the economy and there being a threat of the market, uh, stock market crashing or the dollar crashing, what should we do? Number one is 
the thing that I'm going to leave you with today, and I'm going to try to give you a tip every day. The thing I want to give you with today is you got to stop being so consumer minded. You've got to stop thinking that you can buy your way into status, that you can buy your way into power, that that looking like you have something but not really having it gives you any true access to anything. Power is wealth, the ability to do something independently of anyone else. That's wealth. Wealth is saying that it's not the amount of assets you have, actually, because the amount of access assets you have have to be able to supply the lifestyle you desire to live what does that mean that means that if i want a real modest lifestyle the amount of assets i need to to be able to provide that over 40 50 60 years and still pass on wealth to my progeny may be less whereas and if i want a nice home i want to travel i want to do a bunch of other things i want to explore and enjoy life uh, that, that that's that 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 place right there. Then I'm going to need more. The thing is, anything that I desire and anything that I want to pass on as possibilities to my progeny, I have to have the assets to do that. Having a car, having an eighty thousand dollar car, living in an apartment, is not. Uh, logical. It provides nothing. It gives a good image. You know, if you're a young dude, it may help you pick up uh, uh, the female persuasion. But we're at a point now where women are getting more savvy. And after they realize that all you got is the car, they're not, they not going to be down anyway. The thing is, the average car driven by the car, the car most driven by the average millionaire is a Toyota. Now, obviously, this is a part that blew my mind in doing my research. Blacks buy more Mercedes than whites every year. Blacks buy, let me say that again. Blacks spend more money in Louis Vuitton than whites do every year. Yet the wealth gap is 177 in median wealth, 177,000 in median wealth for whites and 17,000 in median wealth, household wealth for blacks yet we are outspending them. We are out debting them because this is a debt-based economy. Almost everybody in America is spending more money than we have. That's why the economy stays afloat because it's, the dollar isn't back, backed by anything but debt. So we need to spend more money than we have because that gives investors something to buy to underwrite the dollar and that's debt. That's why your mortgage your mortgage companies can sell your, your home loan. That's why uh, when you uh, default on a credit uh, obligation, they can sell it to a collection agency even after they've written it off. Why? Because debt has value in a debt-based economy. So what we need to do is we need to stop spending money for the sake of spending. We need to really be aware of what we need versus what we want. Uh, we need to be aware of the fact that we need to not be cash heavy. A bunch of cash in the bank right now is not a good idea. Why? If the, dollar, if the dollar crashes, that stuff you have in the bank is worthless. Just like money under the mattress. If the dollar crashes, it's worthless. And, and, and here's a prime example. A lot of the old ways was old, old black people didn't trust banks. So they hid money under the mattress, wherever they hid it at. You know, the uh, cliche is the mattress. So they hid it under the mattress. Here's the problem. If you start stashing money in 1930, 1935, you start stashing money under the mattress, that same money is not worth what it was when you start stashing it because the value of the dollar has been constantly dropping. Your money, you've actually lost money even though you put more money under the mattress. What do you need? You need to be investing in assets that appreciate. Precious metals, precious stones, foreign, uh, right now, if you're real smart on the market, uh, wait for it to hit, the, 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 uh, the, the crash to hit. If it's going to hit, buy stocks of companies you know have what people will actually spend on because those companies will recover. People are going to buy what they need. So if you've got companies that are selling what people need, buy it. Invest in the S&P because it's going to have the top performing companies in it. Uh, and it produces consistently, even with downturns and major drops, it produces consistently a compound, compounded return of about 8.2 to 10% to 10 those are the things that I'm going to leave you with. Now I'm going to come back in different points in times and tell you things that you need to know. But these are absolutely things you need to get into. Don't forget if you 
want to get a copy of the book and order it now, you can. If you anybody who actually donates to the organization now will also get an invitation to put a tribute to anybody you want to in this book. So that's something else. If you donate uh, at any time before the book goes to print, which is in a couple of weeks, if that, well, uh, a couple of weeks, goes to print in a couple of weeks. If you donate before then, uh, you can literally, I'll send an email out or the support team will send an email out and you can email what you want in the book and who you want to pay the tribute to or you can uh, celebrate something you've done for yourself. But that option is going to be open at least for a couple of weeks. So again, you can order the book and you can donate and have something uh, special about someone you really care about put inside of the book. But ultimately, we need to get a, a, a grip on our spending and we need to get control of our health. Uh, that's all I have for you right now, and you guys have an unbelievable day.